And a man suspected of stabbing a jogger to death in Washington, D.C. is still at large this morning. Police say the suspect attacked 35-year-old Wendy Martinez in her northwest neighborhood. Tuesday night, surveillance footage captured the unidentified assailant near the scene of the crime. Chip Reed is on the street where the deadly stabbing took place. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. D.C. police say Wendy Martinez was jogging right here Tuesday night at about 8 p.m. when she was attacked by a man with a knife. They say she ran into this restaurant behind me, desperately looking for someone to help her. This is uh, one of those types of unsettling incidents uh, that sometimes happen uh, in large cities. D.C. Police Chief Peter Newsham said the attack on 35-year-old Wendy Martinez was likely random. What the motive was, we don't know. Uh, the best thing that we can do right now is identify the person that's responsible. Police are looking for this man who was seen wearing a long mustard-colored shirt, dark sweatpants, and light-colored sandals. They recovered a knife near the crime scene. Martinez rushed inside this Asian-American restaurant pleading for help. Manager Tommy Wu showed us this surveillance video of the incident. Martinez was bleeding profusely from her neck before collapsing. Patrons rushed to her aid. They tried to prov uh, provide medical assistance to her. Unfortunately, she was taken to a local hospital where she was pronounced dead. Martinez was an avid runner and chief of staff for Fiscal Note, a technology and management company. Her family said she became engaged just last week and was excited to be planning her wedding. She was a devout Christian, a wonderful friend, and a driven professional. Her family wrote in a statement, everything you hope that a daughter and a friend could be. News of the incident has this normally low crime neighborhood of Washington, D.C. on edge. I really hope they catch whoever did this. Police say there was only one assailant and there's a $25,000 reward for information leading to arrest. Nora, a really sad story deeply affecting this neighborhood. As you can see, dozens of people have already left flowers. I was so upset when I heard about this, Chip. Thank you.